Hi, my name's Kelly. Um, I'm going to be reading um, Fahrenheit 451. Um, it's, it was published in 1953 by Rad Bradbury, and it's considered one of the most. It was one of the most censored books in America. And in 19 and in 1992, at Venado Middle School in Irvine, California, um, students received. Um, copies of the books with words censored like hell and damn that crossed out from the books. And um, it's about a guy named Guy Montauk who was a fireman who um, his job was to burn books because they were considered evil. And when he meets this girl and she hit, gets hit by a car, um, he, he meets this um, retired English professor named Faber who helps him find the beauty of books. So Montauk stepped inside, the door shut. Sit down. Faber backed up as if he feared the book might vanish if he took his eyes from it. Behind him, the door to the bedroom stood open and in what room a litter of machinery and steel tools were strewn upon the desktop. Montauk had only a glimpse before Faber, seeing Montag's attention diverted, turned quickly and shut the bedroom door and stood holding the knob with a trembling hand. Um, his gaze returned unsteadily to Montag, um, who was now seated with the book on his lap. The book, where did you? I stole it. Faber, for the first time, raised his eyes and looked directly into Montag's face. You're brave. No, said Montag. Um, my wife's dying. My friend, a uh, friend of mine is already dead. Someone who may have been a friend was burnt less than 24 hours ago. You're the only one I knew might help me. To see, to see, Faber's hands itched um, on his knees. May I? Sorry, Montag gave him the book. It's been a long time. I'm not a religious man. But... So Faber turned the pages, stopping here and there to read. It's as good as I remember. Lord, how, how they've changed in our parlors these days. Christ is one of the family now. I often wonder if God recognizes his, his, his own son the way we've dressed him up. Or is it dressed him down? He's a regular peppermint stick now, all sugar crystals, saccharin, when he isn't making veiled references to certain commercial products.